Here you go, my dear. It's your tea. Huh? Oh, th yeah, the stew's on. <laughs> Thank you for going out hunting, by the way. That was wonderful. It saved me a ton of time. And you brought home some fresh herbs? Oh my goodness, I don't know how else to thank you. Gosh, what a night it has been, hasn't it? We had a visit from the king, and we spent time with our lord. Ugh. Are you alright, darling? You look sad, as if you're reminiscing something. Oh, I see. You're remembering the first time we met. Yeah. <laughs> it was quite a while ago, wasn't it? What? <laughs> Tell you the story. What? I told that once. And you really liked it. Yeah. How bad do you want it? I mean, we've got time while the stew is cooking, but still. Okay. I see. Well, I suppose if you insist, I am not one to deny you. Don't give me those eyes. You know what they do. Yes. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'll tell the story. You had just laid down. And you were still in your world. You hadn't yet made it here. You had a really rough day. And you were feeling so low and scared and alone and as you were just about to drift off to sleep you could feel a tingling starting in your toes and it worked its way up your legs into your belly up through your chest all the way into the tips of your fingers and all of a sudden you got that horrible feeling that you were falling, and you were just about to hit the ground, and you thought your body jolt. Only, instead of the usual, you opened your eyes, and you really were falling. You were plummeting, and that tingling feeling had disappeared. You opened your eyes, and you could see the ground growing closer closer as you plummeted you felt the wind kiss your cheeks as it threatened to pull you into the center of the earth you thought your body would explode on impact and the only thought running through your head was this was it this is how i'm going to die only just before you hit the ground that falling feeling stopped It went away, almost completely, and you noticed that you were floating just a few inches from the ground. You opened your eyes, and as you did, you stopped floating, and you fell, suffering a little bit of bruising and embarrassment, you stood to your feet. You were in a field, some place you had never been before. So you wandered around, and as you did, you found a camp. And that's when I wandered through the bushes and found you. <sighs> made it. Back to camp. Uh... <laughs> Hello there. Uh, and you are... I see you found my rations. 
Yes, this is my food. Uh, afraid so, dear. Uh, hey, calm down. I'm not gonna hurt ya. If you're looking for food, then you can have some. I've got plenty. And being a fawn, if I actually have to, I can eat some berries. But I prefer the meaty stuff. <laughs> Don't tell everybody else. Please. Yeah. Well, I was just coming back from collecting some rabbits for a stew. You hungry? Are you kidding? I would love to serve you. I haven't had someone to host in forever. Yeah, it's been a long time. Don't worry. I'll take good care of you. I always do. Of the people who come here, that is. I don't want it to sound weird or anything, but it's true. I have been known to be a wonderful host. Although, usually it's not around a campfire. It's usually in my castle. Uh, yeah, well, I, I own a castle, uh, but I usually don't live there. We just host parties, really. It, it's not even much of a castle. It's like a square stone, like, courtyard with towers on the corners. So... A castle. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm no princess, that is. No, no, I, I'm not. I, I mean, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not a princess. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I, I could be, but I'm not. I, I, well, my parents were, were royals, and, um, were, yes, they, they have unfortunately passed on, but I still am here, carrying out their legacy. I just, name Shadow, pleasure to meet you. Sorry about all of that. <laughs> the mess, and scaring you, and the weird talk about my past. You don't really need to know all of that. It's not that big of a deal. Where I come from is no concern of yours, I'm sure. You've got your own stuff to worry about. How did you end up here? I mean, as far as I knew, there were no one in this forest. You don't know. You woke up here? That's kind of strange. I... I just had never heard of it before. Anything like it before, that is. Um... What were you doing before you ended up here? Was it a teleportation spell that you were working on? I've always wanted to learn teleportation magic, but I'm not very skilled in that craft. Nah, I'm better off just making good food. That's really my ja my my job. <laughs> At least that the Lord has put me in charge of. Th the I mean Oh, uh you really aren't from around here, are you? You've never heard of the Lord? Oh, well, he's wonderful. I think you would love him. Well, one can't just simply meet the Lord. It's kind of a whole process. Yeah, you have to be summoned, and... It's a big ordeal. And when you get summoned by the Lord, you should celebrate. Because he only picks people he thinks are worthy. Although, almost everyone has been called on by him. Just whether or not some of them answer. I don't know why they wouldn't. He's not a bad guy. I think he's pretty great. I mean, he helps people all the time. Doing all sorts of things just out of the kindness of his heart. Yeah, he's pretty stinking awesome. But everybody complains about him. He asks too much, and then he tells us not to do things, and ugh. So annoying. 
Uh, the people, not the Lord. I, I would never... I would never say anything like that about, about the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Riches? Oh, beyond your wildest dreams. He's the richest in the kingdom. He's wonderful. Uh, crush? Uh, no. <laughs> I just, I praise him. He deserves it. As a subject that he protects, it's the least I can do. But anyway, the stew should be ready soon. I just gotta dress these rabbits. Oh, uh, you okay? You looked a bit turned off by the fact that I have to dress these. Are you a bit squeamish? Are you a vegetarian? Vegan? Oh. You've never... What? How did you survive if you've never dressed an animal before? What did you eat? Yeah, you told me you're not from here. Huh? Uh... Hooves? Well, um... Yeah, I... I'm a fawn. A, a satyr? Yeah, you could call me that. Have you never seen one of us before? We're pretty common. Huh. You... You really aren't from here? Well, what does where you live look like? Maybe I've been there. Yeah. I can try and help. At least get you home. Yeah, my castle was made of stone. My hut made from wood. What did your home look like? Uh-huh. Cement? What's that? No, I'm afraid I don't. Sorry. Um... Well, I can try and help. Yeah, let's... Uh... Hmm... I mean, you could... You're not from the capital, are you? Is your head been hit? Seems like you can't remember a lot. And you really don't know any of the places around. No. I I'm not saying anything negative about you. I just... If you're lost, I want to help you get home. That's all. Yeah, I want to help. Why wouldn't I? Well, huh. It doesn't sound like any place I've known before. And I've been all over. Uh, tell you what, though. I have some friends that would love to help you. I can take them to you in the morning. Yeah, in the morning. It's really not safe to travel around here after dark. Monsters come out. Yeah, they do. And it gets really dangerous. So, I don't recommend it. We should probably get some sleep. You had some of the stew, didn't you? Well, yeah. I want you to eat. You need the food. It's gonna give you energy. For tomorrow. We have a lot of traveling to do. Okay, well... Eat up, and then we'll get some rest. Are you, um... Are you cold? Yeah. Uh, well, I, I have a bedroll. We could, um... We could share. 
the body heat is what will really help. Yeah, <laughs> climb on in. Comfortable? Good. Well, traveler, it was wonderful meeting you. Tomorrow, we'll get you back home, where you need to be. Promise. Good night, traveler.